Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. Today we're going to be doing a statue unboxing, two of them actually, and they are both mini busts of Conan the Barbarian. Um, both of these I got in an auction, they're used, but they're new to me, um, and they do both have their original boxes. Um, one of the boxes is a little bit worn, but uh, it's still there, everything's intact. I haven't opened them, so we'll be able to, to view them and see them together. Um, my wife did say that there's no way on God's green earth that these will be displayed in the house. Um, she said they're completely ugly, according to the artwork on the box, and she won't stand for it, which I understand. I totally get said nobody ever in the history of mankind. This is Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Sumerian. He went from barbarian to king of Aquilonia, and he can't earn a place of honor in our house. Um, I don't understand it. It's beyond my level of understanding. But somehow, I will get these displayed somewhere in the house. It might be like Elf on a Shelf, where I'm trying to stay one step ahead, so one day he'll be in the pantry when you open it up. Uh, another day he'll be on a bookshelf. It might be three in the morning, and you stumble into the bathroom to uh, Facebook, and after about five minutes you look up, and there he is, staring right at you. I'll figure out a way. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comment section. All right, so let's get to unboxing. Um, one of these came with a little advertisement. It was in the package for some of the Conan books. And a certificate of authenticity. So this is number 3,095 of 3,500. So we'll start off with the smaller of the two. It's called Conan the Slayer. This is it. And this is the box. So let's open this guy up, see what's inside. All right, so we have styrofoam. Two styrofoam halves, I guess. what we've got. So let me take him out and we can have a look see at it. Okay. Let's see. All right, pretty awesome. I guess this guy goes in there. There we go. That is incredible. He sits like that. Cool. Very good detail. I like the base of skulls. Now on the bottom, it says Robbie Howard Conan the Slayer, scripted, oh, I'm sorry, sculpted by Jeffrey Scott. This is number 3095 of 3500. And it's from about 2003, it looks like. It's when it was made. All right, that's wonderful. Now we have Conan the Conqueror. This one is certainly, at least the box, is bigger. Bottom. 
bottom and you've got the top. And the top and the top is like the standard introduction to almost all of the Conan books and comic books. Where it essentially talks about the age in Conan. All right, so same thing. Uh, got some styrofoam. Two styrofoam halves. Okay. And there we are. So let me take them out of here. Clean some of this pieces of styrofoam off. Although it does make it look like he's in snowy Samaria. But how cool is that, right? The same, he has that same look in his eye that I had just prior to Thanksgiving dinner. Deranged excitement. This is pretty awesome. The snake that he's battling also serves as the base. Really cool. A bloody dagger. And you can see he's got multiple lacerations, I imagine, from battling this snake. From the snake's claws, probably, but quite possibly also from the fangs. And on the bottom, right there, it says... Robert E. Howard's Conan the Conqueror, sculpted by Jeffrey Scott, same artist. This is number 1011 of 3500. So pretty awesome looking. What woman wouldn't want these in her house? I don't get it. All right. So those are the two... Conan mini bus that we have, one a little bit bigger than the other, but both about the same size. I think they're incredible. I'm going to try to find a way to sneak them in the house somewhere. Wish me luck. Hope you enjoyed seeing them. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I would encourage you to do so. I would also encourage you to subscribe. That way you'll, you'll be kept abreast of any new content as it is released. Thumbs up and likes. Comments are always appreciated, and until next time, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time. Thank you.